Hi, this is Brian Schrader, field agronomist in East Central Indiana. I'm standing in a cornfield this morning just north of Hartford City, Indiana to try to help address a question that I've gotten a few times uh, the last week as our customers start to open up cornfields, start to get ready to shell corn for the fall. And that question is about the black dust that's collected on the sides of the combines and on the top of the corn head. And what that is, is that sacrophytic fungi. They're fungi that come in, they're opportunistic feeders, and they come in and they feed on the dead and dying uh, plant material that's in our cornfields. In an area where we've had a lot of gray leaf spot and northern corn leaf blight come in late, and an unseasonably warm late August and September, these fungi have thrived. And so we're seeing a lot of it as uh, we get started here in harvest. And so I wanted to step into a cornfield this morning, visit with you quickly about some of the things uh, that show this sacrophytic fungi, then talk to you a little bit about uh, concerns or things that you might wanna think about with this fungi. This is a really common appearance with these sacrophytic fungi, these black spots. Uh, on the husk material is very common. And it also concerns guys when they see this because uh, we get concerned about ear diseases and things like that. Sacrophytic fungi are opportunistic. They just feed on the plant material. If you husk back this plant material, uh, what you'll see is you'll see a nice yellow ear there. Uh, no impact on grain quality at all. This is really just about this dying and decaying material uh, husk material on the plant. This leaf is another good example. You can see the black specks of the fungi in these decaying leaves. As the harvester hits these leaves, you'll uh, start to pulverize those and that's what creates that black dust uh, caused by these sacrophytic fungi. The sacrophytic fungi really shouldn't cause any problems with harvestability, shouldn't have any impact on grain quality. Really the biggest precaution that one needs to take with uh, this fungi is if you have respiratory issues or have uh, asthma or are allergic to some dust, I'd recommend a mask as you dust off the combine or as you uh, move from the combine to the tractor or to the truck just to protect yourself against this dust. So no issues, just an interesting phenomenon that we see, especially in years where we have uh, early senescence of corn plants, either from uh, the gray leaf spot and northern corn leaf blight and other foliar diseases like we talked about. Uh, areas with a lot of drought stress and heat stress, we'll also sometimes see these sacrophytic fungi. And then if we have nutrient deficiencies or anything else that would contribute to the premature death of corn hybrids, uh, earlier in the season so that we've got a lot of heat and a lot of water that allows these fungi to develop. You'll uh, see this black dust on your combine. So hope that's helpful to you. Uh, appreciate the time and we thank you very much. This is Brian Schrader, field agronomist in East Central Indiana. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.